Now guys, the menu, audio. Now the audio subwoofer level adjust. This is a new feature different from uh, that one. You can also adjust it from this or from the remote control you have the quick settings to adjust all your speakers subwoofer on the audio delay you know um, now you don't have it on the remote control on the previous remote control you had the audio delay and uh, lip sync you can adjust it if you are playing from a notebook or a, a gaming when you're shooting when you're slammed the door of your car you must not hear an audio delay between picture and the sound power on level it's best to put it on a small amount as possible. If you power it off a maximum level, it will power it on with the same level and it could be a problem. Mood level of oh, full UDC. Uh, well, I will leave it for now for the reference because it tested and it calibrated and i want to hear again the i will make a comparison between the receiver and the amplifier and i want to see how is the sound quality dynamic volume it's a it's a stupid thing that for example if i'm here if i click i'm clicking now the back button it doesn't go back i have to click the ok button or enter button and then go back then it will let me the video hdmi setup AVR or TV. For those of you who don't know the arc function means that will control your TV, your receiver with your TV's remote control and it will control the volume and uh, turn off and turning on the receiver. This is a good thing with only one remote control of your TV you can control the receiver. It's a wonderful thing that one. We have it in our videos if you want to see more about the arc function see how to connect a system with uh, an arc adapter for those of you who have a mini system or micro system and you want to use them as a sound bar for your TV see you on our videos guys because we have uh, crazy good ideas okay let's continue further uh, let's put it on dual now I'm using the AK HDMI out 4k 8k signal format enhanced when you are enhancing uh, it will apply some vibrance some uh, sharpening and uh, this is it it's a some kind of algorithm most of it's a, a, a an upscaling if you want I mean, when you are turning on sometimes the receiver it's assigning to a zone i don't know exactly what it's assigning but it's annoying this thing it stays a lot of time assigning a zone now in heos uh, let's search for internet radio let's see 64 kilobits per second oh, come on 128 kilobits per second it uh, improved now this is interesting this plays at a good quality uh 128 kilobits per second 64 kilobits i see it's oscillating i don't know why uh it's better than any radio you analog radio the digital radio it's another talking so for the internet radio you got to consider a greater quality of the music but 64 kilobits per second i don't know it depends on the station uh this option but uh whatever this is lame um we have a external hard drive and we have a lot of options till i get to the folders and uh, i hoping with the next firmware this will be uh it's annoying to search or if you i don't have a display for example i am uh, only looking at the receiver until i find the browsing the folders the it, it's a lot of stress go directly into the main the route go into the route of the usb uh it will play this is dsd 128 but the other dsd formats it will not play the flag will play but i don't like because it doesn't play cacd or the other formats of uh, the SD. so guys in the bluetooth mode let's go into the pairing mode first play press and hold the bluetooth button so now it's in pairing mode we search with our phone pair with the non receiver and uh, i got to say that it's an improved bluetooth it's a 4.2 i'm uh, 
I was hoping to get APT-X, the APT-X, the low latency Bluetooth. So now we are listening to a DSD in a high resolution over Bluetooth. It's too bad that it's having the SBC codec, so I will not listen over Bluetooth. I will, uh, I don't know, Bluetooth is only to control this receiver, I think, but I will not listen to Bluetooth. What's happening then on 2020 and SBC? Guys, let's continue really quick on the menu. You can input the sign. This is interesting because, for example, you have a TV and your TV it's not uh, broadcasting through the HDMI the sound and you don't have ARC for example and you want to connect it by digital and you can assign the digital optical 1, 2, 3 with your receiver it's uh, interesting these features okay let's go source rename source level speakers you saw the ODC amp assigned zone 2 I have powerful speakers big speakers uh, in the test okay you can set the distances the levels you can do the testing again we have the crossovers frequencies to the front center of the surround i put uh, the main at the base to work with the subwoofer l l f e it doesn't work even i have l f e on my subwoofer but I uh, don't care, I put it to the RCA and it will auto close and uh, opens the subwoofer. It will close after 10 minutes without uh, noise or audio on any port. We have the network, the network is not important, the EOS account I will do it, but I don't have now. Language, echo mode, the Bluetooth transmitter, for those of you who have 650 and S750H, this they no receivers well when you make the firmware update guys it will put you this option the bluetooth transmitter for using uh, stereo head bluetooth headphones to front display it will the dimmer you know the firmware information and you can save and load the settings to a new usb saving configuration i think i will save it now to the usb my configuration is good it will save it auto save it to a usb it can be improved the menu to move a little bit quicker to be more responsive you know into the menu into the remote control now it's a it's some kind of problem and i don't have the problem with this hard drive i browse the folder and i browse what i played on the usb and it's a bug on the front it didn't give me anything look uh it didn't give me any tracks it says that i don't have a track on the usb so this is what i'm saying then on in this uh, particular receiver then on has problems or i don't know what's to deal with then one why is it not respecting their clients with top quality products because this is unacceptable to have this delay to have these movements to search to stay that long to search a track first guys i want to show you if i will click the info button on the remote control i have some informations here the signal is flag the format is flag the impact signal front left front right and the active speakers we have two and the subwoofer which we are in echo mode and i'm trying to also the volume when i click it has some kind of delay it is not accurate to switch on the volume i don't know it is slow the processor the cpu the processor of this uh, receiver it's very slow or the firmware update has a lot of bugs in it i don't understand and now guys very important if you want to increase the quality of the sound of your amplifier you can use the buttons of the sound mode i like to hear in stereo mode when i'm listening to music uh, or movie if you press it in dolby surround it will take automatically your previous settings or if you are clicking the blu-ray it will remember the settings of the blu-ray of your notebook 
Uh, well, guys, now I'm clicking, for example, stereo music, but there's another feature to use and enjoy the quality and rise the quality of the music using this receiver, the Pure Mo. You have Pure here, you can press direct and it will increase from the stereo, it will give you direct from the DSD playback. If you have good quality speakers, it will give you, uh, it will rise the quality. And another uh, thing, if you want a better quality, a more quality of this one, you can put Pure Direct. In Pure Direct, it will close the display and it will close a lot of feature inside and will give you the pure sound as a con, it can be improved by firmware. The components support the high grade components, the are quality components inside the electronics. And I think in the future updates, and I ask them on to improve the pure direct sound. Because if you're seeing this old amplifier, it's a good quality amplifier. Uh, it's not a high end, it's a 496R, but it's more than this receiver. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm an audiophile. I like the high end quality of the sound. I uh, thought before buying this one that I will have everything there is in uh, being the top, high grades components inside, the high res logo, all come this, I thought the music will be perfect. It's not perfect. So I enjoy music with this amplifier. And I hoping from all my soul, then on will improve the movements, the browsing of this receiver. You see it's in pure mode and it displays something, but with dimming, a dimming effect to display something and to give you a uh, pure direct. 